Have you ever had that sharp shooting pain when you eat ice cream or drink something cold where you just have to warm up your teeth and it hurts? We've probably all experienced that at least a little bit, but some people experience it a lot. Why? What causes tooth sensitivity? So first of all, let's talk a little bit about how a tooth is even made. A tooth has the enamel on the outside, dentin is the next layer in, and then the inside layer is called the pulp. That's where the nerve and the blood vessels live. Well, that enamel layer is full of minerals. That's the part you see. The dentin layer is full of tubes. Literally, there's a mile of tiny microscopic tubes inside of each tooth. And those tubes, I like to think of as a superhighway. So they're bringing nutrients from that pulp, the inside layer with the blood vessels in it. They're bringing nutrients from the body, through those blood vessels, through those tubes, and to the rest of the tooth. They also bring sensation from the outside in. So problems come when that enamel layer is not thick enough to block off that cold water from getting into those tubes and going right to that center nerve portion of the tooth. This can happen from a, a few different things. If you have foods that pull minerals out of your teeth, so things like acidic foods, soda pop, or pineapple, or tomatoes, or a lot of citrus fruits that have a lot of acid in them. Some people drink lemon water all day long without realizing that that is literally bathing their teeth in acid. That's going to pull minerals out of the teeth and make it so that that sensation, that cold water, is able to go directly to the nerve and it hurts. That's one issue. Tooth wear can also cause this. So if you grind or clench your teeth, if you've worn off the tips of the teeth or worn off the enamel, it also opens up those tubes for the sensation to get into the nerve. There's also areas along the gum line. So the way a tooth is made is the enamel covers the outside of the tooth down to the gum line. But if your gums have receded down the root, there is no enamel on the root surface. So there's direct access straight to those tubes, straight to the dentin, if you have gum recession. So all of these things can lead to hypersensitivity. I had a patient once that I'll always remember. She told me that her teeth were so sensitive, she actually had to microwave fruit before she could eat it. And she, we kind of laughed about it, but she was pretty sad, honestly. She said, I just, I can't eat anything. Everything that touches my teeth makes them hurt so bad. So what do we do about it? What are treatments that are necessary to be able to treat this sensitivity? Well, the first thing that I always talk about is let's rebuild the minerals in that enamel. So slow down on the acid. Don't drink lemon water all day long. Don't drink soda all day long. All of those things are going to pull the minerals out, but let's put lots back in. So that's going to be hydroxyapatite tooth products, the tooth powder, mouthwash, putting lots of those good, healthy tooth enamel minerals right back where they belong. That's from the outside. I also believe a lot of times we need to increase mineral content from the inside. So I have tooth and bone formula. You can use any kind of mineral formula that's formatted to help grow teeth and grow bones. There's a key along with this though. You need to have vitamin D3 and K2 along with the minerals. It helps your body absorb those minerals and use them where they're needed. So hydroxyapatite on the outside, minerals and vitamin D and vitamin K2 on the inside. Another thing you can do is go to the dentist. If it's very sensitive, then you do need to go see a dentist and find out, is this just minerals that have been pulled out or exposed dentin, or is this a cavity? Because cavities will also really sensitize the tooth. The cavity eats away all of that internal structure of the tooth and everything's able to quickly go to that nerve. The cavity also inflames the nerve. So that nerve is more sensitive, hypersensitive to things when there's a cavity in the tooth because everything's inflamed in that tooth. So go to a dentist, see, is this a cavity? Is this something that needs to be taken care of dentally? If not, there's a few things we can actually do at the dental office. We can do desensitizing treatments. Here at Total Care Dental, we actually use ozone for this purpose. Ozone helps clear out the openings of all of those tubes, and then we're able to seal them up and really 
desensitize a tooth within a few seconds even of that treatment. That works great. There is also some resin or some basically bonding materials that we can put over the tooth that can seal up some of those tubes, especially along the root surfaces. You can also get a gum graft to put gums back up on those root surfaces so they're not exposed anymore. And like I always say, get to the root cause of any tooth grinding or tooth wear. Why are you grinding your teeth? Why have you worn off your teeth so they're sensitive? Figure that out. Then we can rebuild the tooth with materials to restore it, anything that can rebuild and protect that tooth again. Those are things that we do here at the dental office. What can you do at home? Obviously, all the hydroxyapatite products I talked about, but decrease the acid. You can even do things like oil pulling. Oil pulling works to remove bacteria and seal some things up, as can even things like green tea with high antioxidant levels. So those are things you can do at home, but hydroxyapatite honestly is the key. So hopefully this gives you a lot more explanation and understanding about why your teeth are even sensitive to begin with and what you can do about it. Some of it you can do at home, some of it you need a dentist help with, but a lot of it just has to do with what is the root cause and why are you having this issue. Hope this helps.